Hi guys, my name is Scott Harmer. I'm with Motorsportsland in Salt Lake City. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new 2017 Bighorn 3270 RS. Um, right away you can tell that the, the level of trailer that, that we're talking about by the high gloss fiberglass on it. You've got frameless automotive windows. Um, you know, just the, the, the upper end trailers really, you know, look a lot different than the, the typical to fiberglass on your trailers. Um, the big horns are a full residential trailer. That means they're a four season trailer. Nothing will ever freeze, you know, no matter how, how cold it gets. If you're in super cold temperatures, you can skirt them to do extra stuff, but at least you know that, you, that you're going to be safe. So let's take a look around. Right away, you've got slam latch compartments. Over the years of opening and closing, that's gonna be great. Your catch actually is in the frame of the doorway instead of just a little tab. You can see the tremendous amount of storage that is through here. Also, you've got a heating duct here that also heats this area up. So the stuff that you put in here is also not gonna freeze, but just a massive amounts of space. It's finished off everywhere tie downs for you know strapping stuff down really really neat way to do that um, outside speakers out here you've got two seven and a half gallon propane tanks one on each side um, coming around the front you can see you've got a fiberglass front cap that's definitely what you want to see in an upper end trailer it's where all the abuse of a trailer gets um, bighorn actually paints their fiberglass on, on the front of their cap so it's nice that there's no you know um, fading or anything like that they've also got an 88 turning degree on the front cap where it's carved out like this meaning you can get an 88 degree turn without having to have you know a big expensive slider hitch in your truck so that's fantastic um, a generator prep area is right here where also all your batteries are um, you can put that in easily coming around this side here is your other propane tank seven and a half gallons you'll notice that it's got hydraulic leveling jacks throughout the trailer it's a six point hydraulic system that's by far the best system in the industry it's got a memory on it so you can set it you know set it up to where it just goes right back to where your truck came off of but at one touch it can level off the whole trailer you can also lift one side up or the other you know manually if you need to change a tire or anything like that it's just a great system it's a lot quicker than the typical electric hitches um, you've got a 10 gallon water heater with a 12 recovery so that's 22 gallons of water until you start running out of, out of hot water which is great um, nice big rack and pinion slide system on here. You can see those big gears going in and out of the steel chassis of the trailer. It's definitely the, the nicest way to have a slide system and just not have any issues with it. Again, we talked about on the front side, frameless automotive windows. There's no seals on the outside to corrode over time. And again, just the utilization of having storage every place that it can be. No wasted space, you know, nice magnetic door catches 50 amp service which is really nice to have an automatic reel there because you don't have to find a place to put that big of a of a cord now a back cap that's where you're really going to different change a nice trailer from a really nice trailer it holds it in like book ends it also helps with fuel economy it just makes the airflow go really really well you can tell it's got a really good radius on the top there nice little spouts to drain the water off so when the snow melts turns to ice it won't you know stay on the roof it drains off and kicks off the off the sides fully walkable roof you've got a ladder going up to the top seems like kind of a simple thing but if you take a look at the spare tire even on these you know a lot of them are so complicated you undo two hatches the spare tire drops down you just pull it out it's very simple very easy to use you know in a high stress time of changing a flat tire that's going to make your day a lot better um, huge you'll notice nice big awning that covers almost the entire front side LED lights under the awning you've also got a nice big huge floodlight on the front it's an extremely bright LED light keeping in mind that all your LED lights use 160 at the battery power of an incandescent light so it really doesn't matter if you leave those on or not let's take a look inside you'll see the nice big four step with nice grab handle going into the trailer Let's kind of come around to the dinette area. You've got a nice big table. It opens up and you have two more chairs. It has a, 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 a leaf in there as well. Great cabinets, you know, great light fixtures like this that really give a nice residential feel to the trailer. Theater seating is fantastic. It's also straight directly across from the TV. Now these are heated massage chairs. So that's a, a, a definitely a difference that you'll see this in between this trailer and not many others. 
You've got great cabinets going over a big trifold king size bed sofa. You'll take a look as you're looking through the trailer. Everything is more residential feeling. You've got coffered ceilings. You've got a nice residential ceiling fan. Um, MCD roller shades are pretty fantastic, you guys. MCD roller shades, there's a lot of imitations. These are the ones that actually work. They go up and down on the first try. Um, you've got an 8,000 BTU uh, furnace on your fireplace. You've got a big home theater system, surround sound, and again, just more storage everywhere that there could be. Great countertop between this here and then this big thing. I mean, guys, look at the sink. That's about the nicest sink I've seen in any trailer. Stainless steel, high rise faucet with a drain spout. Um, and if you look, I mean, even the stove top looks a lot different than an RV stove top. It actually looks like a real residential stove top, you know, with actual, instead of the click, click, you know, you've actually got, you know, a lighting sensor there and just an oversized oven, all stainless steel. So your appliances that look really nice. Stainless steel ball bearings on all your drawers, ready to hold 50 pounds each. Big, nice, deep pot holding drawers. 18 cubic foot refrigerator. This is Norcold's brand new refrigerator. There's not a bigger refrigerator on the market that's both gas and electricity. So if you ever do want to go dry camping, you're not left high and dry with a residential refrigerator. Again, all your island here, it's got all storage drawers all through, big, deep ones. An actual garbage can. So you're not tying a wastebasket bag somewhere. And then just massive pantry, control systems. If you count the amount of doors and hatches and storage units in this, it's probably got more than your regular house at home. Even down to a little, hey, there's spot in between the, the stairs. Let's make storage out of it. A good grab handle coming up into the bedroom. Jack and Jill bathrooms are nice. You can enter either from the hallway or from the, from the bedroom. You've got a nice big corner shower. Again, just great storage everywhere for your towels, medicine cabinet. Even to have solid surface countertop all the way through the bathroom. Most traders will take that chance to cheapen out and not, not finish everything off. King size, residential size bed going into the cabinet. You've got a lockable safe, controls here for your air conditioner, for your furnace, your temperature controls. And then what everybody loves nowadays is the Dyson vac. It's kind of taken over the world as far as your central vacs go. It's just so easy to use and it's always charged up. It gives you a good 17 minutes of vacuuming, which is nice because nobody wants to vacuum for more than 17 minutes. Um, again, these are additional chairs that go into your dinette. Washer dryer prep, or if you don't need a washer and dryer, this is a great big hanging closet. More of your drawers all the way down. Storage everywhere, entertainment center, even the additional under bed storage is just huge. Guys, thanks for taking the time. Again, this has been Bighorn's 2017 3270.